What's up, dudes? Rhino Crunch here today. We're playing a little uh, Escape from Tarkov. I'm just gonna go check the spawns here. That was Woods Wall, by the way, is the callout we're using for uh, Shoreline. Woods Wall. We're gonna go check Griff's house. She's down in the swamp. Right over here. We call it Griff's house because Griff is color blind. He said it's Yellow House. There's actually a Yellow House spawn. We call it Yellow House. So it's confusing because he's like, I'm at Yellow House. It's a fucking green house. All right. So we just started calling it Griff's house because we know it's the house that he thinks is yellow. It's actually green. So we're just going to check. We're kind of going to take it a little bit slow here in the beginning because it the spawning mechanics are kind of weird in this game. I hope you guys are enjoying the Tarkov content. Getting pretty fucking legit at this game, if I do say so myself. Uh, shots fired. I like to... I like to show on the channel my progression, you know? I don't like to bust my ass for a couple weeks in the game and just start uploading amazing content and give you guys an inaccurate representation of the gameplay. I love this site, by the way. A lot of people don't like it. I love it, man. Aim points on point with the spacer. But yeah, I'd like to give an accurate representation. Show show you how I get better at the game. How I, how I fuck up. Where my mistakes are. Um... Which I think is good. I can really only be good at one game at a time. And I, I have to work hard at it. I have to play a lot of it to get good at it. it. Took me a while to get good at PUBG. Busting my ass in that. It's taking me about, ah, I'm going to say about two weeks to get good at Tarkov. I feel like I'm there though. I feel like I'm not such a noob anymore. I can spot people a little bit easier. Gun plays, uh, I got the gun played down. Everyone has their own style in this game. I like to camp. I'm just going to go ahead and say that right now. If you guys are, uh, if you're triggered by that, if you're triggered by campers, you can go ahead and close the video now. There's uh, tons of Call of Duty trick shot uh, montages up. You know, you want to go watch your favorite Call of Duty player trick shot your mom's pussy. Go ahead and close my video now. Link's in the description to that. This motherfucker's trying to sneak up behind me. That's the thing, man. You always have to watch your back because of first person. Let me switch positions in case his buddy's behind him a little bit. No. Looks good. What's he got? Ooh, he got an AK, boy, trying to make plays. I don't think so. Thank God that. Let's give it a minute. Let's cool, cool off. I'm glad he didn't fire a shot. So our position isn't compromised. Always got to check your back in this game, dudes. Keep your back to a wall, back to a tree, back to something. So we're gonna we're gonna post right up here. I like this little spot. I like these these hot spots, man. Not this hot spot specifically, but uh, these areas, like these junctions where players kind of traffic through. Like if you were to look at a heat map, I'm sure you'd see, like not of deaths, but of actual player movement. Oh. Good lord, it is popping today. Maybe that was his buddy. Let's give it a minute, let it cool off. Shots behind us. I think we're good. No teams, that's cool. Ooh, that's that's something big over there. I'm gonna go check that out. Kinda sounds like it's on the boat. Alright, let's let's check this guy out here. There he is. Another player. Aw oh man, Hatcheteer, seriously? I'm just gonna leave his stuff. He's not gonna have crap. 
These hatcheteers, man. Ugh, they gotta remove the hatcheting in this game, I think. I mean, I get it. I, I totally get it. When you're broke, it's fun to just make, like, epic plays with the hatchet. But... At the same time, it's kind of like... It's kind of cheese, IMO. They gotta remove the hatcheting meta. Damn, I only fired 14 shots. Using this, uh... Armor-piercing ammo. I think it works pretty well. Oh yeah, let's go towards this. Let's check this out. I think we're good. I think we rocked the spot and spawn. I like this little town. I've never looted it up. But uh, it's good to hold sectors of fire down here. Let me actually... Uh, let me tell you a story about this spot right here. This, this doorway right here. My buddy Bo was holding it down, and we heard shots, and I thought, man, I thought, you know what, let's bait him. So I told Bo, I said, I'm going to shoot a couple times and bait him. Okay. Shoot now. All right, he might think it's the compound to come investigate. Is that you? Yeah, reload him. Okay. Come on, baby. Fall for our trap. He's close. He might be baiting us now. Yeah. I feel like he's 100% baiting us, right? <laughs> yeah. So there's a couple of them. One's got a suppressor and the other one doesn't. Multiples, I think. Oh yeah, they're baiting for sure. They got a position somewhere. I say we push these pussies, let's go. Or you wanna hold it? We can push them. All right, let's, let's go on this right side over here. I'm walking super slow. Do you see me? No. Are you behind me? I think it's desync. It's still at the corner for me. You're still holding your lane of fire? Yeah, it's not with desync. In the alley, maybe? Oh, he's in the garage. Yeah. He 
He's dead. Yeah, seems passed out. He fucked up. Oh. I'm getting his shit on. Alright, I'm holding this alley. Someone's run up to me. That's you, that's you. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, you just shot. Hold behind me, hold behind me. There's he's got a buddy. I hear his buddy. Are you on the body? No. Sounds like to our left. What the fuck was that? He's uh to the out and to the right. Yeah. Chasing him down. Fuck, I lost you. Get him, Bo. Shooting at somebody, I might die next. I hear someone in the bush. I just hit a bush. This guy had a, a sexy M4 or two. Yo, when we fucking. You Is good? You? No, no, no. You got a helmet? Yeah, I got a helmet on. Oh Is shit! You? Yeah, yeah, that's me. That's me. That's me. I don't know where the other one was. You, you loot that guy? I'm looting him right now. Pretty sure it's a three-man team. Oh my lag! You hit a bush again? I heard what somebody's happening. I'm on the, I'm in a building right now. I hear someone out front, back the way we came. Is that me? Oh yeah, I see him, I see him, I see him. Got him. Oh, shit. I'm fucked up. I gotta go inside and heal. We gotta go, Bo. We gotta get the fuck out of here. We're wearing our welcome out. My stomach and my left arm are blacked out. Holy shit. Not good. Not good. Where are you at right now? I'm inside that garage building we first spotted this guy at. Coming in. Fuck, my left arm is blacked out. That is not good. We gotta go. I'm ready. Are you inside here with me? Yeah, I'm where you killed that guy in the garage. Okay, I'm in the inside the what you call it, I'm coming out. Did he have Ford armor or Paka? Paka. All right. I'm gonna search this guy real quick. Is he geared up to? No, he was. Uh, I think this was his player scav, dude. If you have room, he's got a uh, AK on him. AK74. Just, just finished searching the. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Where was that? Right around that corner where you were at. <laughs> Got him. Can I come back in? As a scav, if you hurry, yeah.
That was a three-man team we just wiped. I forgot what time it was. 7.09. I got to get the fuck out of here. Not good. I'm gonna grab your uh I'm gonna grab the fucking get an M4 on them. Yeah, I'm gonna grab your helmet. And your M4? Fuck. I don't have room for this shit. I gotta leave all this, dude. Pull in the fucking M4 apart. You know you can do that, right? It's pretty dirty. Uh-uh. Pull the fucking gun apart so they only get pieces of it back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm pulling all the fucking good shit off. Expensive stuff. Like the sights and shit, so he'll just get like a lower back, dude, for insurance. <laughs> All right, I gotta leave all this shit, brother. Oh my god, I gotta go. I'm out of here. All right. Needless to say, I escaped Tarkov. I'm just kind of just still scoping out behind me, man. I don't like. I I really wish this this uh this guy could look all the way behind him. That would be great, like Arma style. I know they're probably not gonna add that because it's uh, it's impossible to do that. But fuck me, man. If I had a dollar for every time I snuck up behind someone because they weren't paying attention behind them. I mean, I've literally like ran behind guys for like <laughs> a solid three minutes, dude. They're in full sprint and I'm in full sprint trying to catch up with them and they didn't turn around the entire time which is just incredible to me so any new players you want some tips uh just always check your six man we're gonna hold this boat down this is another one of those uh high traffic zones we got scavs that spawn on the island we got players that can spawn on the island by the way i love this map man i was I was worried that they weren't going to be able to pull off the sandbox. Uh, just because the nature of like how gorgeous this map is and all the objects. And after playing this map and how big it is, I absolutely think they can do it. So I'm really excited for the sandbox. I'm really excited for more maps. This is just such an awesome game, man. I mean, truly, truly awesome. It's like a FPS MMO. Amazing sound design, amazing gun modding. The gunplay, the the trader reputation, the insurance system. I mean, just fantastic. Any other game in the genre is like you can't even compare it, dude. Like this compared to standalone, please, dude, give me a break. Granted, there's no vehicles, etc., but like, this is just like unbelievably awesome. Nothing like it. If you're on the fence of buying it, I highly recommend it. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people have been hitting me up in the comments. I see you guys. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Absolutely, dudes. First time you, you kill someone with a high, high amount of loot on them, you know, a couple hundred thousand worth of guns and armor. Take it back to your stash, boy. Woo-wee! The satisfaction is just like so good. Tweaking your guns, making them how you want. It's awesome, truly awesome. So this is one of those choke points. I'm not seeing anybody though. I don't think anyone's coming through here. We're gonna keep posting. I like I like bushwhacking people like this solo. Cause this is how you get this is how you bushwhack three man squads. At least in my experience, you know. Ah, you're camping. Bitch, you ever go hunting? Let's see you go hunting in the middle of the woods, running around like an idiot. It's trampling around, hitting bushes, breaking twigs, fucking cracking beers open. 
That's not how you hunt, especially players. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing anything at all, man. I'm going to hold it down for a little bit more. I'm fighting the urge. I like to fight the urge to uh, give up. I got that quitting spirit in me right now telling me, ah, you should go somewhere else. I got to fight that urge. I feel like someone's coming off the boat right now. It's too quiet. I don't like this. I want to hear shots or something. I'm only happy when I'm getting grenades thrown at me. Boy, this way too quiet. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of grenades, let's put this up here. Keep these in my gamma box. Yeah, this game definitely has that uh, like stomach drop anxiety. You know, when your stomach drops into the bottom of your gut. You start getting beads of sweat on your forehead. This game definitely has it. Just like Daisy when you're in a building and you hear some people outside. I mean, you can't even compare this game to Daisy. I don't even know what you compare it to. I just hope to God they don't go third person. Not seeing much, man. We're not hearing shots in the compound, which is concerning to me. Uh, no one's pushing over here. No one's pushing down the road. Check the boat. Wait a sec. Is that a player? I can't tell if that's a player or not. Yeah, that's a player. Right, you know, we're going to flank around, get the higher ground, try to cut him off because he's going to be pushing up on the coast. Probably run right. Yeah, he's running right for us. Flank around the right. Got him. Does he got any buddies with them? I think we're good. Let's loot him up. I'm gonna prone out for this one. Uh, full size AK. Let's go rebuild that shotgun. All right, all right, all right. Can we fit that? Oh my god! I need these vests, man. These rigs. The rigs are worth a lot. I mean, 10k, not bad. Take these sweet Oakleys. We only had one mag in here. Let's see who's got in his backpack. Shotgun ammo, about a thousand a stack. Five, five, six. Bunch of junk. And we're full, boys. That's it. That's all she wrote. I think we should get the hell out of here. Let's make our way towards the exit. So yeah, this has been a this has been a great wipe for me personally. I don't know how everybody else is doing. Uh, you know, they wipe their characters for the beta release. I have a press kit, and I know a lot of people get triggered by that. But uh, this for this wipe specifically, I sold everything to the traders. Uh, I kept the money. I'm gonna be honest. I kept the money, but I didn't keep anything else. I used the money to you know buy pistols, and from pistols, I bought shotguns, and from shotguns. I started buying these full-size AKs. Just kind of paranoid here. I, I'm really surprised we haven't heard shots in this compound up here to the left. Which, by the way, there's a gun spawn in the... Uh, I think it's the house on the right. Has a locker upstairs. Spawns a gun. There's also two safes and two computers. Definitely worth looting.
But yeah, I'd say the best... You know, I'm curious. I, I have buddies that play, and... They are struggling, or they were struggling, to kind of make money. And so, everyone has their own method. I think the best thing you can do is definitely do your scav runs as much as possible. Try to avoid other scavs, obviously, because of the scav on scav uh, atrocities that are going on in this country. Which, you know, say no to scav on scav violence. Um, just loot the hell up as much as you can as scavs. Use them to your advantage. You know, like that compound down, down there is great to loot. While you're looting, the scavs will be guard dogs. You hear somebody shooting, just post up in a corner and wait for them to come inside. Or, you know, push out and get killed or do your thing. You know, do whatever your style is. Um, also, like, this is a pretty good run, man. Like, 50k, probably 30k, 20k for the AK, which I'm actually probably just going to keep to build another one. Another 10k for the shotgun. This, this is not a bad run by any means. And then we got the ak 74 u too, which I'm going to sell for probably another 20k. So you just need like a couple good runs like this. Um, but the best bet, your best bet to making money, like a lot of money, is factory. If you can get a buddy with you, two-man factory with pistol, you know, step one, clear all the players. Once you clear all the players, uh, then you own the map. And whenever you own the map, then you can just kind of slow everything down and take it really easy and uh, clear the scavs as they start to spawn, loot them up, clear them again. And it really just starts to snowball after a couple really good factory runs because then you can buy the full size AKs, you can buy the Ford armor. Um, so you kind of saw at the beginning of this video where I got my first set of Ford armor, but my second set of Ford armor, oh yeah, there's a sniper scav up here. I don't see him though. Normally he'd be shooting at me by now. All right, we're just going to push this. Oh, he must have got killed. Pretty sure he got killed. Yeah, he's dead down here. Anyways, my second set of Ford armor. Uh, we gotta be actually be careful here. Hold on. Bada boom. Came from the beginning. Again, players not. Be the beginning of a shoreline. I'm going to show you guys a really dirty spot that you can hold right when you spawn, if you spawn on the beach. And, uh... It's, it's a really dirty spot. And this guy, again, just wasn't paying attention behind him. So, I'm in this really, really dirty spot, which we could just start calling it Rhino's Corner, because it's, it's pretty much... I've killed so many people from this spot. But I'm waiting for Griffin spawn and just he's coming over to me pushing through the city and he says out of nowhere he's like Oh shit, that's a geared player dude. He's in the alley right now. I think he's geared. I couldn't tell it. Alright, I'm just holding the cubby dude. Okay. Just keep following him if you can. I'm trying not to run. But he's going to be heading up the mountain. Alright, I'm just going to hold it. He's probably going to peek this corner then. Did he have a helmet? I, I couldn't tell. He was running away from me as I was walking up. Yep, I hear him running. I hear him hitting bushes. I'm going up to the top of the mountain right now. He's close to me. I can hear him walking. He's down. Who's that next to the medic the ambulance? Not me, not me. 
It's gonna be right out in front of you. Right on that ammo. Down. Okay. Is that you running on the yep. wall? Please stay. Okay. I'm looting this right, guy. I got your overwatch. He's got Ford armor. No fucking shit, I was right. <laughs> and he's got a helmet, I'm dropping it. Oh my god, that's amazing. I fucking knew he was geared. He's got a silenced MP5 too. Nice. I got your overwatch, you're clear. Do you want my packa? I, ha I brought some, and I can't fit it in my backpack, so you take it in yours, or just pitch it and you'll get it back in insurance. True, true. This guy's a fucking noob with this MP5 on this map, dude. What are you doing, no bro? No shit. No shit. I mean, he did kill a player, but I don't know if like he killed him and got this stuff from him. Someone's coming behind me. Patchling. He's got him. Get him? All right, I'm I'm fucking clear. I say we dip. You want to loot that other guy? Yeah, I'm coming down. I'm so glad someone brought some fucking gear on this match, bro. <sighs> no shit. That ain't right. that is not normal. Yo, check your corners, bro. What me? No, no, okay. no. The fucking guy walked right by me and he's like standing here. He's like looking over this way. I'm just like completely fucking oblivious. <laughs> so yeah, you definitely always want to check your corners in this game. Don't run blind behind uh, buildings and alleys and without peeking at least. It's like a traffic look both ways before you cross. So we killed three players, two... Two U6, one bear, 10k XP, not bad. I saw in the comments of the last video people were interested in the stash and you know the overall take from the from the run. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that. And there's a little change to the video. I don't know if you guys noticed the 1080p. I hope you guys are liking that. That is a direct result from the Patreon backers. Big thank you. There's only a handful of you, but it was able I was able to get a new hard drive to where I can actually record in 1080p and not have to stop recording after about 30 minutes of recording. So big thank you to the Patreon backers. I love you guys so much. Your contribution has changed the resolution for tons of people. Thank you, dudes. Not to suck your cock too much, but it is very much appreciated. So we got the AK-74U. You can see it's nice and clean in here. It's all cleaned up. I got everything segregated, medical, money. What does this need? Dust cover? Yeah, we'll probably end up keeping this. It's got a compensator in the front, too. Trade that out for a uh, suppressor. Put that right here. Little pump, pump action. I got to start saving the uh, MR153 so I can trade them to Peacekeeper for M4s. Let's see exactly how much we made on this. I'm not going to sell it all. I'm just curious. Thirty-eight thousand plus. This, I don't know if I got this bullshit. Definitely got this. Yeah, we got all this. Forty-five thousand. Hey, that ain't bad. Fifty k run. Not bad. I need the money too. Uh. Yeah, so there it is. It's a it's a good 50k run. Um, you can see I got him. I'm almost max level on him. I'm gonna try to get to 30 before the next video. We'll see though, because I want to get everything unlocked for you guys, so you can see what's available in this new beta. And that's it, dudes. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video if you did. Post in the comments if you got into the beta. What do you think of the game? What are your thoughts on the game if you got in? Um, sorry it took so long for this video. I was having problems with the 1080p. I know I lagged a few days. I was really consistent and I kind of screwed up on the recording. So I do apologize. 
New video coming not tomorrow, but the next day. I try to do videos every other day. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.